Okay, but now let's look at this question. We have a sketch. Let me just try and copy the sketch. Okay. okay, we've got the axis diagram. And then we have the triangle that looks something like that. Alright, and then we also have a line going there. And a line going there. Okay, it's not quite the same as on the, the original drawing, but it's fine for now. Yeah. And then we also have A, B, C, D, Q. M and we are told that M is in the middle there. Alright, now they're telling us that point A has got the coordinates 3 and minus 8. Now, do you know what that means? Yeah, <coughs> yeah, um, that X, that on the X axis that it's 3 and then on the Y axis it's 8. Or minus 8. Minus 8, yeah. Minus 8. Yeah. Minus, yeah. minus 8, alright, and then B is 9 and 10. Okay, yeah. and we don't know what C is, but they're telling us that A, B, and C are the vertices of the triangle, the altitude A, D. What does that mean? Altitude A, D. Altitude A, D. Mm. Um, the height of the triangle? Yes, but it oh. basically means that that angle there at D is 90 degrees. That's, oh, that's important. Oh, okay. Yes. And they're telling us it intersects the median CM. So what is the median? CM is a median. What does that mean? Uh, median. Let me think. I think. Uh, can't. Isn't it a, a line that bisects the opposite side? That's correct. Yeah. yeah. That's why M is in the middle. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's the difference between altitude and median. Altitude is perpendicular on the opposite side, and median bisects the opposite side. Okay, okay, I see now. Alright, and then they also tell us that point Q then, where those two lines intersect, is the l point 9 and 4. Yeah. Okay, so it's actually directly below B, because it shares the same X value as point B. Okay, yeah, I didn't see that. No. Okay. Now they're asking us, determine the gradient of AQ. Alright, now let's start with that question then. Do you know what they mean? Do you know what formula to use and so forth? Uh, yeah, the gradients, uh, well, you would say, you, could you use, um, like what I would do, mm -hmm. the gradients of, which one? AQ. Uh, AQ. So then I'd say M, AQ. Yeah, I'd say M, AQ is equal to, um y2 minus y1 mm -hmm. over x2 minus x1. Alright, so what is y1 and y2 and x1 and y2, x2? Well, I'd, uh, okay, y1 and y2, I'd say I'd make a as y, I'd make a as 1. Okay. So I'd say, okay, so then you'd say minus 8. No, but it's y2 minus y1. So if, oh, oh, if, if okay, A yeah, is, okay. is 1, then it's Q minus A. doesn't really yeah. matter. I mean, at the end of the day, you're going to get exactly the same answer. Yeah. You know, it doesn't really matter, but let's just stick to convention for the time being. Yeah. So then you'd say um, 4 minus, uh, minus 8. Yes. Over 9 minus 3. All right. Now, what is 4 minus minus 8? Oh, minus and a minus is a positive, so you'll get 12. Okay, over? Uh, 6. And that gives us? Uh, 2, um, what? Just 2. 2, yeah. Yeah, so that's the que the answer to question A. Gradi yeah, gradient, gradient is 2. Alright, so as simple as that. 
Then they say determine the equation of BC. Now, you need to understand something about para, uh, perpendicular and parallel lines. Do you know the theory behind that? Parallel and Perpen perpendicular lines. Uh, perpendicular and parallel. Well, parallel, uh, they'll never touch one another. Yeah, okay, but I mean more in line with um, coordinate geometry. There, there are two separate rules that you need to know. One is for parallel lines and the other one is for perpendicular lines. I just want to know if you know the rule. If you don't, then I'll teach them to you. No, 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 I don't know the rule. Okay, the rule basically says if you have parallel lines, yeah. the gradients are the same. So M1 is equal to M2. Right, okay. so if you have two separate straight lines, if they are parallel, the gradients are exactly the same. Okay. If they are perpendicular, you've got this rule. M1 times by M2 is equal to minus 1. Okay. Now, in essence, let me tell you in, in plain English what that means. If the one gradient is 3 over 4, the other line, yeah. the one that is perpendicular, would be minus 4 over 3. So you swap the signs and you swap places in the fraction. Okay. All right, do you okay. understand that? Yeah. Now, looking at a, a D, the line AD, do you know what the mm. gradient of line AD is? The gradient of AD? Uh, well, I could take a guess... No, you shouldn't take a guess, you should know. <laughs> okay, well, let me ask you this way. Do you know what the gradient of AQ is? Yeah, I was about to say, well, isn't the gradient of AQ the same as AD? Exactly the same. The, yeah, it's on the same line. Yes, so what is the gradient of AD? AD should be 2. Okay, but now always write the gradient as a fraction. Take a always. tip from me now. So the okay. gradient of AD is 2 over 1. Okay, I see. Alright, so now if we move to the second question they said find the equation of BC now if ever another tip for you if ever you are asked to find the uh, equation of any graph doesn't matter which graph but if they ask you to find the equation of a line or a curve or a graph or anything always start with the standard form of that graph now obviously BC is a straight line do you agree with me yes so what is the equation of a straight line graph uh, y equals mx plus c. Okay, y equals mx plus c. Now, do we have yeah. m? Uh, we do. And what is that? Uh, 2 over 1. No, no, no. Or Opposite, inverse. Remember inverse. the parallel lines? Okay, okay, yeah, so then be 1 over 2. Minus 1 over 2. Minus. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, I see. Uh, just one quick question before we carry on. Mm. I've, I've got this... Uh, Thing, yeah, it says a uh, chat and then it says it's like a little box, but it's kind of in my screen. Is there any way I can get rid of it? Oh, there we go, minimize. Never mind. <laughs> okay, yeah, or you can just move <laughs> it, move it outside out of the way. You know, you can click on, on the little circle next to chat or the little circle next to members, okay, and then you just right, move I them see. out of your way. Um, all right, cool, we're done. <laughs> all right, okay, okay. now. Looking at that equation, all we still need is a value for C. Then the question is answered. Do you agree with me? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> now, we don't know what C is, but we know that line passes through point B. Mm. And at point B, we have an X and a Y. So we've got that and that. So now we can go and figure out C. Okay. Yeah, yeah, are you, yeah, are you with me? You yeah. Okay, so we can say... 10 is equal to minus a half times by 9 plus C. Yeah, and then you just um, work it out. Yeah. You, you take all the uh, constants to one side and... Uh, okay, so C is equal to 14 and a half. Okay. Which okay, means I the see. equation of that line BC, Y... BC is equal to minus a half X plus 14 and a half. Okay, so you wouldn't write in for, I'm just asking a question, uh, but, but you wouldn't write in for, the, you wouldn't write in the values of Y and X. No, 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 that needs to be Y and X in the final equation. Okay. Otherwise you won't have an input variable and an output variable. So the, Y and X in the final equation needs to stay Y and X variables. 
but in order to find the value for C, we substituted X and Y for a known value. Because okay, we knew okay. that the line passes through point B, so we could use that information to find something else, which was C in this case. Okay. Alright, then they want the equation of CM. CM. Okay. Now, what would we do there? Well, you could... Uh you could carry on with the, it's a straight line, so couldn't you, I mean, okay, you've got the, you've got the coordinates of C, don't we? No, we don't. We don't. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'm just worried that this recording is going to take too long for me to then upload to YouTube for you. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to stop it here and make this part A and then we're going to carry on with the next recording. Okay. Okay.